so my 1.6 cubic feet portable washing machine finally came now this box is indeed pretty big i have it inside of my garage so i actually was so so excited i actually cut the the plastic piece is off and now I can't move it in the house so I'm going to have to do the unboxing um, on this end and then take it inside. So when you first cut the top part open you are greeted with this gray piece here. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this is what the washing machine sits on and it has the word down on one side and it has the word up on the other side. And you see these grooves going along in this section. Now everything else here, I feel like can be lifted up because when I cut it off, this is basically lifted up. So I'm just gonna lift this all up. Okay, so all that came off and then here is the plastic. It looks so good. I am loving this. So now I'm gonna just put this inside of my house to give a more detailed overview. Okay, this thing is so cute i love the size of it because i know i can stick it right into a corner and it can it will not take up a lot of space i also love that basically it is eight dollars you'll be using 63 kilowatts seven dollars estimated yearly energy cost like this is perfect for small apartments rvs mobile homes even a big regular house if you just need to have a extra little area to wash clothes and things like that all right, so I'm going to open this thing up. We have this big old piece of foam inside. Is it attached? Like, what's going on? There we go. So you will have to get a vacuum cleaner to suck all these little pieces out. But inside, as you see, we have the manual. And we also have the cords for the hot and the cold to be fed from your faucet all right so now we're looking at the actual control panel unlike most washing machines especially the one that has the wash on one side and dry it on the other side or wring out on the other side this one gives you so many more options on the actual control panel so you have your on and off here which gives the actual power the start and stop button once the cycle starts you can press during operation to pause the cycle and press again to continue the cycle and then when you go over to the extra rinse which is right here um, you can press that to add one more rinse and then you have the actual program tab which is right here this button you can um, select your washing program if you want to do normal if you want to do heavy if you want to do delicate if you want to do a quick if you want to do a bulk um, if you want to do a spin only it highlights everything um, with the temperature the type the the spin you know it just gives you all that with the panel and you can see it on this side as well based upon whichever one that you actually chooses this is so sophisticated for washing and rinsing like a normal stock washing machine but at a smaller size Another good feature is the control lock feature right here. Press for three seconds and so no one can change the programming or whatever you're doing for your actual load at the time. And then you have the load size which can change between large, small, and medium. And then we have delay where you can set this timer to start um, from minutes and also in an hour. I'm not sure how many hours but it does give you the hour option as well. And then you have your, di your digital display which will show and count down the estimated minutes for each wash cycle selected or if you have it into the de delay start to set the display will count down the hours until the cycle begins and then change to a minute countdown for the wash cycle now for the procedure you will press this button to select cycle steps included in your setting cycle this relates light will be on indicating that the step is selected so it will be normally all soak um, it will be wash it will be rinse and it will be spin. So you can just choose to have your wash and rinse. You can choose to have your rinse and spin, a regular soap or all four. You know, you really can just play with this to be and do what you actually need to do for your clothes. 
Now, when it comes to actually preparing your wash with the actual detergent, they do recommend to use a powder detergent, but I know many people who have been using liquid detergent, but it is recommended to use one fourth to one half of the maximum amount recommended by the detergent manufacturer because this is a smaller washing machine. So if you use one cup for um, a bunch of clothes, you would not need one cup because this tub is much smaller than your original normal size washing machine so you will put too much soap inside of here so you may have to play with it a little bit just to see which is the right one either one fourth or one half cup per what you are washing to make sure your clothes are indeed going to be washed and clean You'd be happy to know you also have a cycle guide that can help guide you based upon the type of laundry you have between the timing to wash and things like that. So if you ever need to adjust because it is moving all about when you are washing, you can come down here, flip it over onto the front side, having the core sticking up towards the ceiling, and then you can twist this to actually get yourself more level. Now you must install this, this is very important. So what you wanna do is once again, have the core facing the ceiling and you wanna have the word down facing this way towards the floor. Then you're going to attach it by sliding it through these grooves on both sides all the way down to these two grooves right here as well. There we go. And then you have that one screw that is right here in the manual. And you're going to take that screw and it's going to be a hole right here. You're going to put that screw in so that it can maintain and do not move. It is also recommended to periodically remove any dirt, soil, odor, mold, mildew, or bacteria resident that, that may remain in your washer after you're washing your clothes. This will also help with um, making sure you don't have any unpleasant conditions including odor or permanent stains in the washer. And if you have hard water deposits, they may be removed as well. You just want to use a cleaner labeled washer safe. Now you do want to also clean the lint filter and also the pump filter. The lint filter is located right here. So all you want to do is come down here, put your finger here, push down and it pops out. And then you will go right ahead and lift this up like that. And then you will clean the lint out. To put it back, you just want to connect this piece right here. Put pressure to once again, lock it back in place and that's that now here is the pump you want to just twist this going that way so that way twist it all the way out and then you would just clean this off with some water make sure everything is nice and white like this you can also come in here, pull out whatever you may have, and then you would just put it back by twisting the opposite direction. And this way you will maintain the cleanliness of your machine to use it for a long time. So with the Comfy washing machine, you do receive this adapter, which is a quick release to help you get things on and off. How you utilize this is basically you will just push this white part down and pull this part off. And this part will go on the actual faucet and then this part would be put on here. So that's how it will go when you put it back on. And then all you would do to put this back together is you will hold the white part down which is attached to the hose and then you will just push this in like that. Connecting your hoses is very straightforward. You will take one of each, it doesn't matter which one, and connect one to the hot and one to the cold if you do have a sink that has them separately. Now, however, if you only have a sink that has the typical standard um, faucet that comes out like this and it has a, the one that goes left or right, you can utilize the cold water line only to get the hot and cold. You do not want to use it for the hot one. So if you only have a one sink 
um, faucet like this and it can go from hot to cold you will only utilize the cold adapter here with one line and then you can just you know toggle between hot and cold depending upon which one you're going to be using for your wash since my faucet does not properly connect with the actual connectors and things, I am using something called a water bandit, which is basically a blue rubber piece that could go over any type of faucet. If it's a strip one, if it's just rusted, and then you can connect um, a standard hose type of ending like this going to the actual washing machine to fill everything up. So this is what I'm utilizing if you're going to have to... Um, it's a learning curve because you want to actually start the washing machine first and then turn the water on because if you don't, this will just fly off. It's best to have a clamp here so, so it can stay attached to this part. But this is how I am basically right now doing it so I can see how this thing works. Connecting the hoses is really easy. You would just take your hose itself, line it up with the threads and just start to spin it so that it can be connected. 